Morrison's supermarket chief Dalton Phillips steps down. Morrison's chief executive Dalton Phillips is to leave the troubled supermarket after five years in charge. The firm said the search had begun for a replacement and Mr. Phillips would stay until the year-end results in March. Andrew Higginson, the chairman-elect, said, we need to return the business to growth. The board believes this is best done under new leadership. Separately, Morrison's said like-for-like like sales excluding fuel in the six weeks to the 4th of January fell 3.1%. The supermarket also said it would be closing 10 loss-making stores during 2015. Minutes into the start of trading, shares in Morrison's were 4% higher. Mr. Phillips was under pressure for Morrison's poor trading performance, in particular for delays in moving into the convenience store sector and setting up an online operation. Last September, Chairman Sir Ian Gibson acknowledged that trading conditions were tough and that the whole industry was experiencing unprecedented change. Morrison's is being squeezed between the higher end of the market and the discount supermarkets, such as Aldi and Lidl. Mr Phillips said in a statement that he had been proud to work at the company. Over the last five years, we have made many improvements to the business and given Morrison's strong foundations for the future. Dalton Phillips. Mr. Phillips said he had been proud to work for the company. Mr. Phillips will remain at the company until Morrison's reports its annual profits figures in March, the executive said in a conference call with journalists. I don't have another job to go to. My wife has given me a long list of chores to do. Morrison's also said Mr. Higginson, a former Tesco finance director, would succeed Mr. Gibson as chairman on the 22nd of January. The Bradford-based company's Christmas trading figures were slightly better than analysts' forecasts, which had been predicting a fall of about 3.8%. However, the numbers still compare unfavorably with Morrison's big arrivals. Last week, Sainsbury's warned that the outlook for 2015 would remain challenging. The comments came after the supermarket reported a 1.7% drop in like-for-like -like sales over the Christmas trading period. And Tesco said its sales over the holiday period were down just 0.3%.